today we have an earth trine and this is the day before the sun and uranus align but it's the day after the new moon so guys we have one beautiful week the beginning of the week is all about what we desire what we want those meeting those those immediate needs and by the time we get through the week to the end of the week we have such a spiritual message that comes out of all of this and i think it's so completely beautiful and i can't wait to talk about it with but what you need to understand is that what you really need to do is to identify what self needs look so much okay I, I know this, when, when I've lost hope is when I did not believe in myself, when I did not think I had anything to offer, when I did not realize that I am an asset to this world, that, that there was something extraordinary, there's a gift I have. I did not, I lost her, that. This energy is about finding that. This week is about finding you. So yes, it's extreme. Yes, it's it's odd. Yes, there's a lot going on. There can be a lot of unexpected twists and turns. But understand that all of us are trying to find ourselves, re-identify, become very, very self-aware, self-aware of our extremes, self-aware of what we want, where we want our new beginnings, self-aware of how we want to be um, observed by others, what we, the contribution that we have to give to others. In order to do this, we have to, it's like a child, we test our the boundaries of the universe, of energy, of people, of relationships, of, of so we get indulgent, yeah. And then we dial it back because you know what? We got disciplined over there and that didn't feel too good. And we want to please people. And so we redefine. But what's most important is that we understand, we understand who we are. And so that's what we're doing in this energy. So I love today. We have a beautiful earth trying to ground our energy a bit. So um, I believe that when when we fall into this energy, it's just a harmonious flow of energy. So to, today, many of you are going to feel like you're getting a little bit of clarification. You may be looking at your finances. You may be looking at stability, structure. Um, and mind you, this is all good because we can't deal with instability for too long because it'll just shake, rattle, and roll our entire lives. Even though we are going through a state of self-awareness, we are shaking things up. There needs to be at some point where we don't shake ourselves to death and, 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 and really completely shake everything apart. So I believe today is that day where it kind of grounds it all back together. We have, we've tested the structure, we've shook it a little, but now we're stabilizing the energy a little bit. So today you may formulate a plan to get what you desire at a very, very simplistic material level, tangible level. Some of you are going to be looking at your tangible needs. You need to get them met. I think it's very important for us to understand what I think our ego identifies with what we deserve. How many of us don't think we deserve something good because it's we're at an egoless level. So this is we're building up that level. I believe that the earth energy will be very motivating for you to increase your net worth. I believe that for many of you, this is about exploring um, past missed work opportunities or any sort of opportunity at all that could have created um, some increased net worth. I believe that some of you are going to commit to a routine that can start to produce some, some really tangible results. So this isn't about, you, you know you deserve it. <laughs> And you want the new beginnings and you they're they're hatching new mindsets in your mind. So some of you may receive recognition for an accomplishment at work. Um, some of you may feel deeply appreciated in this energy. Some of you may feel empowered and very, very goal oriented in this energy. The relationship that you're building with yourself feels like you deserve it. I believe that you are, some of you may be very, very respected by an authority member. I believe that some of you uh, feel that you are going in the right direction and that it will lead to long lasting um, success. So for some of you, you're feeling good. 
harmonious flow of energy just makes you feel like you don't have to do anything because some of this stuff is starting to go into the right direction. You don't got to make a lot of drastic changes. For some of you that are really, really aligned with yourself, really, really um, at peace with your ego, I think you're going to have a beautiful day. I think for some of you that are caught in a negative vibration, that would be Mercury and Taurus is, is quincunxing um, Mars and Uranus and Aries is quincunxing the North Node. Ooh, some of you do not want to, to make the changes that you need to make because I believe that some of you are very, very hypersensitive and you feel like you're going to have to lose something that you deeply want or that you're going to have to change something or that you're just very, very stubborn and hesitant in this energy and you're kind of rebelling against this progressive energy. So some of you are not interested in committing to long-term commitments at this time. You desire immediate gratification. Today feels very, very materialistic. Um, some of you have needs and wants, and they're going to be very, very superficial, So, which may leave you very sensitive to feeling emotionally deprived. Um, some of you will want to shut out progression because the bottom line is that you – if your needs aren't getting met right now, then you need to go find a quick band-aid to get them met. This energy is very, very impulsive. It can drastically shake things up. Um, some of you may be very possessive, controlling. Some of you may be very stubborn, obstinate, obstinate. I feel very, very obstinate in this energy. It's like that kid that throws its body down because it wants this. And I don't, I, I believe that if some of you are getting criticized in this energy, it's because that there's a sense of imbalance that I don't think you're willing to face yet. And that's okay because, again, we're on a journey of progression and we're on a journey with ourselves. And so I believe that it just, we need to be kind with ourselves. But understand that if you're out there just pleasing yourself, very indulgent, um, overindulging, then I believe that there's always consequences for overindulging. I do. <laughs> consequences in health, consequences in your mind, consequences with the perspectives, the perspective of others have on you, the way that they see you, the, if they want to invest in you or not, if they want to talk with you or not, if they think that you are stable. Like, some of you may come out of this energy thinking, that person that I was investing with is not stability. And that is not what you want at this time for some of you. Anyhow, guys, it's a beautiful day attached to the earth trine. You're going to love this energy. It's going to make you just feel like taking those long walks outside, um, soaking up the earth energy. It's going to be very easy. There's going to be a flow of harmony that comes to you. You're going to feel very, very validated in this energy if you just attach to that trine. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. And that's the Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again.